Parliament has spent the last few days considering and approving budget estimates for ministries, departments and agencies. The Office of the Special Prosecutor is one of the agencies that must have its estimates approved by the House. It has however come to light that the Office had challenges accessing its allocation in 2019. South Dai MP Roxanne Dapiamapo first made this known to City News. The releases for compensation, which is uh, salaries for the payment of salaries and, and wages, it was nil. According to his report, I am not fabricating this. The releases for capital expenditure was also nil. And so the question I am asking, or the NDC is asking, is that if 28.87 million Ghana cities was released for, for purposes of goods and services. What, 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 did the, what are the things that the, the special prosecutor acquired? Computers, machines. And looking into the report further, he actually has reported that he's worked on only two cases. Two. That he's worked on for the year. So, how do we spend in excess of 28 million Ghana cities only for the one to work on only two cases? And it's not as if those two cases have been determined. There are two cases, he has only tackled two cases. And I have copies of the report, I can show you. He further questioned government's resolve to fight corruption. This is an office that has been set up in an euphoria only to fail. Because other, other prosecutorial agencies, such as um, um, and the, the Office of the Attorney General itself, the police service, NACOP, and others, can also prosecute crime, corruption-related, narcotics-related. But when we craft an office purposely to, to fight graft, corruption and corruption-related, and it is performing this way, it gives me great cause to worry. The House continued with its consideration of budget estimates. The highest allocation of 150 million Ghana cities on the day went to the Ministry for Regional Reorganization and Development. The Sector Minister, Dan Botri, justified the estimates before the House. It is the government's program to facilitate the construction of six new regional hospitals in the six new regions and also build a new regional police post, command post, and then 12 duty post bungalows in the six new regions. Mr. Speaker, to implement this planned program of activities for the 2020 financial year, the ministry has been allocated 153,260,855 Ghana cities. The breakdown is as follows. Well, it's contained in the, in the, in the report of uh, Mr. Speaker, your committee. Mr. Speaker, it is imperative to state that um, this exercise was a very emotive exercise. It's been done with the support of uh, members of parliament, especially those who hail from these new regions. The ministry is still coordinating activities of other ministries so as to make sure that the required infrastructure needed for a smooth takeoff in these new regions have been done. The minority leader, however, questions the continuous assistance of the ministry and the huge allocation to it. I have a problem with the ministry. And my view is that that ministry is only a duplication. And the present advisory, in my view, must collapse the ministry for reorganization after the creation of the regions. Their role is recognized under Article 4, 240 of the Constitution. All matters, Mr. Speaker, relating to regional coordinating councils is captured under the decentralization provisions of the Constitution between Article 240 and 255 in particular. They come under the Ministry of Local Government. That is why we have a Minister for Local Government. Mr. Speaker, may I refer you to your committee report? And just to caution, for instance, page 4, and it reads, facilitation of the construction of six administrative blocks and 12 duty post bungalows for the regional police commanders. He's veering off, and we must stop him. 
There is a ministry for interior. There is an IGP. Why must it take a ministry of regional reorganization to be doing police bungalows? Mr. Speaker, there again, construction of six regional hospitals. There is a ministry of health. No, I'm saying that it is captured a ministry of re regional reorganization. Outlook for 2020. I'm reading, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, the minister is worth a minister. The ministry is not worth a ministry. As I speak to you, the House has approved four different estimates for four ministries, departments, and agencies. The Ministry of Environment, Science, and Technology, the National Development Planning Commission, the Ministry of Monitoring and Evaluation, as well as the Ministry for Regional Reorganization and Development have had their budget estimates approved for the 2020 budget year. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Duke Mensopoku.